Hi there, welcome to IATS Payments. Today, I will show you how to create a hosted Aura page for your organization using IATS online forms. It only takes a few minutes to create the form and the best part is no coding skills are required. So let's get started. First, we need to create a basic Aura form. To do so, start by logging into the IATS portal and finding the Aura form setup tab. Click on new to create a new form and type a name for the donation page. Hit save. As you can see, the hosted Aura link has been updated and this is the URL of your hosted Aura page to share with your members or donors. If you would like to embed the form on your website instead, you should use the embedded Aura link section to copy and paste the script in your web page. Next, we will add the payment and amount information. Payment information consists of data that IATS needs for the payment to go through such as first and last name, address, zip code, etc. You can also include any customized questions that you would like to ask your donors. I have now selected all the selections I would like to see in my payments area. Let's hit save. Moving on to the amount section. This is the section where you will add the donations amount you would like your donors to choose from. I'm adding a line for $10, another for 50 and last one for 100. I'm also activating the other amount, which means a donor can type in the amount they would like to donate. Do not forget to save it. Before I move on, let me clarify that this is the very basic setup of payments and amount sections. Both of these sections are highly customizable depending on your cause. Please refer to the Aura online guide to learn more. Moving on. We can click on Form Preview tab to see the preview of the form and see how it appears so far. It is getting there, but as you can see, it still needs a design update. We can do that under the Hosted Aura Link tab section. Let's start with adding a page title. This title will show in the browser tab and can also help with SEO purposes. Next, let's add a page heading to explain what this page is for. I'm going to call it Donate Now. This head heading can be small, medium or large. You can also choose the alignment of the heading, the font style and color. If you have a hex number or RGB value, you can use that to match the colors of your brand. I'm gonna hit save and check out how our page is looking so far. We have the title on the top of the page and the heading looks great. Next, let's explain the purpose of the page by adding a short description. You can use this part to describe your event, campaign, or the cause of your organization to the donors visiting the page. Similar to heading, the subheading size, alignment, font, and color can be easily changed. Our page is almost ready. Next, I'm going to add a logo. You can upload your logo from your computer, and whatever size you upload, the same size will be shown on the donation page. I'm using 360 by 170 as a logo size, which fits really nicely. However, you can also use a larger size. Once the logo is uploaded, you can choose the location it will appear on the page, either top left or top right. You can also move the form on the page using the form position field. I'm going to keep it on the left side of the page. The form itself is a separate entity from the page. You can choose to have the form appear separate by making the form transparency 0% and choosing a form color. However, if you would like the page and the form to look seamless, increase the form transparency to 100%. In my case, I will keep the transparency at 0% as I want the form to appear separate from the page. Let's save it and see how that looks. Last step of customizing the page is changing the background. If you would like to add a background image, you can upload a high quality image from your computer up to 3 MB. We have capped at this size because images larger than this can slow down the loading of the web page. Once uploaded, you can select where you would like the background image to show. The stretch option will stretch the image to the full width of the page and other options such as center right, center center, etc. will move the image accordingly. Next, you can choose if you would like the background image to scroll as the donor scrolls the page or keep the background image fixed. The background repeat option allows you to choose if you would like the image to be the same size you uploaded but just have a repetition of it on the page or set it as no repeat. Finally, you can change the background color. If you have a background image uploaded already, that will override the color. 
However, if you don't want a background image, you can use this feature to select a nice background color. Let's save our settings by hitting save. And we are all done. This is our final donation page, which is ready to be shared with your donors using the hosted URL link URL, and you can start accepting payments now. If you would like to customize it further, you can add your own custom HTML in the custom HTML section. Those customizations would override any preset settings. There are unlimited design possibilities using the custom HTML option. It's that easy. Go ahead and start creating your own hosted Aura donation pages and thank you for choosing IADS Payments.